Well, hey folks, this is Seven here, and welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me as we jump back into Vintage Story. So I've been looking into the magic mod thing that I have on here a little bit. We built a wand for it. Um, now, supposedly the first stage is to find a rift, which that's usually not hard. There's one here. And then it should, so they say, and I don't know if it's maybe when it ends or while it's here, but it should have an effect on plants and loose stone, changing them, uh, altering them into a slightly different type. And if you collect that, it should break down into like a dust. Look at that. Berries blooming in the middle of winter. Oh, I guess, yeah, it still says it's a uh, fall. Hmm. But I don't see anything out of the ordinary around this rift. So... Now, it could be because there's no loose stones and the only plants are grass. Or it could just be that I have no concept of how this is supposed to work. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I wonder if there's any others out here. Maybe, like I said, that one's just not close to anything it can mutate. But it's quite a process. You break that and that'll give you fragments and bits of other things. And then holding like rusty dust, dust, dusty rust, right, right, I don't know. Some sort of needs to be cleaned rust agent. Um, okay. <laughs> Come on, that's a weird looking thing. What's that? Oh, I see. It's the butt of a wolf. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Um, but yeah, then you apparently take that, you have to get your uh, little spinny wheel there down to zero. So I guess you're just entering the rust as it's called. I'm a little bit nervous about getting anywhere near that to be honest with you. Okay, did that thing fade now? No, it's still there. I can see it. Um, but yeah, then you have to, uh, with the dust in your hand, crouch and right-click. And apparently you become a level 1 mage. But you need the stuff this is supposed to be making. No, oh, there's a, there is some loose stones around. It's just regular old flinty doodle. This one is, again, loose flint. And I certainly don't see any plants that look anything like, it looked almost like a brown version of a fern, one of the, the bigger, floppier ferns. But it, it looked quite distinct, so I don't think it's something you would miss if it were there. Hmm. I don't know. Well, there's a useful amount of ladder to nowhere, eh? Check that out. Oh, that's not what I meant to... Oh, we just caught that before I hit the ground. Uh... Let's go down a notch before I break that one. There we go. Whoop. Okay. see anything there that's out of the ordinary. I mean, not that a rift ripping open the fabric of space and time outside your house is ordinary, but 
Well, it, it is fairly common. Oh yeah, I think we've been down here, haven't we? Survivor's mask. We got us a rusty gear and a copper hammer. Nice. Uh, oh, look. Ha. Cool. I like my tapestries. Uh, torch holders? No. I don't want to grab those baskets if I can help it. I didn't, did I? No, okay. What do we got here? Ooh. Now we're really getting into the pits of it, aren't we? Okay, okay. Rather have that than a bit of flint. Uh, wooden planks. I don't really see any chests or anything that we may have missed. So let's go back up here. Interesting. This is actually uh, quite a bit more of a, an in-depth little cave than I first imagined. Ah, oh, this is the basket one. Okie dokie. Well, let's see if our rift has done anything uh, magically rift-like. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the butt of a cow. Funny. I don't have any uh, problem recognizing the other end of these animals. All right, where's our uh, twisted rift gone? Uh oh. 
Might have had too much fun playing in the tunnel. Oh no, there it is. It's still here. Yeah, I still don't see anything even vaguely resembling one of those plants. You're still a piece of flint. You're still just a piece of flint. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's eat this bit of a berry. the new tapestries. squares anywhere? Come on now. Ooh, I could put it here. Okay, that one goes there. Oh, I see they're self-loading, are they? And you, and you. Oh, don't we have that one? Yeah, that's just this one, isn't it? Oh well, that's okay. That's okay. So let's see here. You are... Uh, oh, I see. You're going to go there. Whoops. Well, heavily tattered, but plus seven and opposed to what we had before. Survivor's mask. Oh, really? Instead of my sheep skull? I don't know, man. Oh, no, it's terrible condition. You pick them up in the chests, and they're in, you know, good condition, and then you get them here, and they're, no, no, that's actually, it's garbage. Can I do anything with them? Can I cut them up for cloth, or... Ooh, I can. I can make bandages out of these things. Really? Oh, this apparently not. Hmm. Well, that was kind of interesting. I had no idea. No idea. Alright, um... Well, we still got enough daylight. So that rift is still there. I still don't see any unusual plant.
Well, we're not supposed to do that until we actually have some of that material, so... I don't know. I truly don't know. Ah, spider webs. What is this? Oh, right. Alright, so somewhere I also have a bow stave that I've been allowing to dry. I'm not sure where it is. No, that rift is still there. You can see a just barely dark spot there. Hmm. <coughs> We slowly recover our wheel of spiniosity here. All right, there we go. Uh, we have acquired brown coal. There we go. And Ah, oh, you're done. Awesome. Good job. There we are. Rusty gear. 30 of them. By George, we're rich. There it is. 10% dried. We'll put our bee nades in there as well. Don't know what I'll ever do with them, but there they are. <coughs> uh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, we got us a new hammer, didn't we? Cool. There we are. in a different spot. Oh, where are you? Where are you? There you are. A thousand day. Okie dokie. Grab a little bit of firewood. stick Brr. 
It is a winter of a thing out there, isn't it? Indeed. No, not be causing trouble out there, Mr. Dexter. Silly cat. How much food is in here? 0.7. Uh, more than we need. Uh, we're down to our last bit of board. open the bottom one. Uh, what do we got over here? That's our quartz. Oh, varying stones, huh? Hmm. So I guess there's nothing I can really do with that. I should probably just uh, chuck it to the by and by. gate in here? Well, it's kind of pintless. Means I gotta go all the way around. Uh, we should probably have a... Ooh. Bit of a light. Block, buck, 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 buck. That's it. Alright. <laughs> Musical doors. We know all the doors in the building work. It's all good. All right, you're heading up to temperature. More or less. More or less. There's a grumpy. Hey, grumpy! Up here! <laughs> I was watching uh, Old Man 102 playing earlier on his uh, his version of it. Coming along well. Good series. There's a link to his channel down below if you uh, <clears throat> want to see some more vintage story content or any of the other stuff that he does. He also makes his own farm sim maps, so a little bit of the talent going on. Yeah, you can tell I used to live in Ottawa. There's nothing else to do. Get out there and shovel some snow. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck here. There we go. Looks like it was that stick. No, nope, not yet, eh? Man. How are we doing here? Uh, I was hoping to get this poured in time to still go to bed for the night, but it's not looking so good now. Hmm. 
You know, a good place for those bandages would be right here. I think I have some others somewhere. Ish. Yeah. Close the door. I want to let the heat in. Ooh. I may have uh, gone a little lean on the Chicoli. Let's fatten up that little pot, shall we? There we go. Have a little late snack. That takes it down to 0.4 servings. <clears throat> and we've hit white hot. just eating up the charcoal. It's the problem, eh? Such a nice environment for those in here that they're growing vines up one side and down the other. Hmm. Oh well, house plants, I guess. Alrighty. Let's go and do this thing. Six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand units. Indeed. And we'll pop you back in there. Well done. Bit of that and our pokey stick. Cha. Yeah, you're just uh, spinning your wheels, grinding your gears, whatever you want to call it. You're not being of much use. So, we will uh, straighten you out here. It's unfortunately, it's too late to go to bed. If we go to bed now, we will pretty much waste half a day. Pretty much. God, those birds make some creepy noises, I tell you what. Alright, your water, your water, you're sealed, you're sealed. Uh, you're almost there. Yeah, you're nowhere near. And then we've got our dumpy buckets for stuff that just doesn't work. And we've got to find some other source of a lime water. You know. 
Oh yeah, our jams. Are those empty ones behind it? No, there's four up there, that's right. So I've got four empties and four jars of jam in the pantry. Hmm. Has he got a crossbow? Looks like he's wearing the same mask as me, the uh, the ram skull or whatever the heck it is, sheep skull mask. They've all got kind of a bit of a dark theme, eh? See the skulls on the bottom of that one? I'm pretty sure it's like a war going on or something. You'd almost think this was upside down, but you can't turn them over, right? It lays out in this pattern. So... Hmm. All right, well. not quite as cold as it was. Uh, I can still hear that rift. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, this is a different one. Oops, and I'm too close. Oh, come on, Grumpy. I'm not trying to get in your way. Don't try and get mine, dude. Again, I don't see any plants that don't look to the norm. Boy, it's hard to see that thing in the dark. It's over there a bit. Yeah, other than the grumpies, I don't... Uh Anything particularly weird? Hmm. What do you think, there, cows? Is that a no, or are you just looking back and forth? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I hate these short, short, short days, long nights. How long have you got? Oh, 7.2 of 20 days. Well, we'll have another batch for it when that's ready, that's for sure. Well, these are all surviving. They're still all large. Just, uh... These? Yeah, still, uh... Basically stagnant, I guess, this time of year. What do we got here? Three in the morning. Dang, I still got four hours before the sun comes up. So... Keep 
weeds down to a minimum. spelt man that was almost two stacks from those couple little plants alrighty time oh man bang 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 Supposed to be able to press shift. There we go. 542. Oh, that's much closer. Much closer. Now, the problem when you do that is now it won't let you sleep again. You know, like it's not like you can go, oh, that's close, let's do it again and, you know, get the last couple. No. No, you can only sleep apparently if you're tired. So. And having slept within a certain period for any length of time negates that tiredness. Hello, piggy. Run, run, run. Whoop. Hey. We got a pheasant egg. Any more hiding in the snow? No. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a chicken egg. I was wondering why I couldn't pick it up. It's because they don't stack. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Uh, pheasant egg, pheasant egg, and chicken egg. Hmm. Alright. You're not pushy at all, are you? Get away! Good God! Bugger off! Get away from the gate! Stupid chicken! Thing. Hey, Grumpy. Um, I'm trying to fill a food dish here. Do you mind? Oh, I'm hitting you with my little knife. Going, well, that's four hits. Why didn't he go down? That would be why. One less grumpy in the world. Oh, I can't get out. The snow is too deep. There we go. How you all doing? You're doing good. Three days. Pregnant. Pregnant. Got a couple of calves running around. Good lord, the bull's starting to pile up in here. 
There we go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look what we got. Thank you very much there, Grumpy. Mm-mm-mm. Well, well, well. I think I need more broody boxes. Um, yes. However, oh, actually. Let's quickly get down here. Well, this place is probably full of grumpies. I haven't been in here in a day or two. Oh, it's not as bad as it has been. Come on. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Very nice. Okay, uh, eggs. How long are they good for? 43 days. It's not bad. 29 days, okay. And I've got enough now that I could actually use them in a meal, you know? And we got 10 days left on that thing. All right. Should be full daylight out there now. Excellent. Oh, I've still got... Whoa! Direct pig to the face, I tell ya. No. Why do you guys always do that, huh? I mean, it's not a great strategy, because I always catch you. Yeah, we gotta go and put that... Uh, Fancy spinny blue guy away because they are very rare. And they don't stack. Oh, there's the other bandages. Interesting. Oh, those are, no, I just put those in there, didn't I? Somewhere I do have more. Okay, you... Find a suitable spot. So it's daylight, we should be able to see th things. You can't step through a doorway if there's a block of snow on the other side. Because your fat head don't fit. Nothing going on there. See any rifts? It's usually not hard to find one. No, that's a normal fern. See, they sort of look like this, but kind of brown and a bit creepier. You know, these are all just ferns. This is where the other one just was from last night. It doesn't look like it left anything unusual behind, does it? Hmm. No. Nope. 
No, I don't see anything like the uh, the picture on the. Uh, I said they just they looked very much like these ferns, but brown and kind of droopy, melty, chocolatey, delicious. No, I don't know. They 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 look different. That's for sure. Uh, be seeing no riftuses. What is that? Oh, it's a turkey. It's just a turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Buck, buck, buck. And his girlfriend. And more. Wow. Turkey down. No rifts, just a vast snowy plain. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. If anyone has any uh, suggestions or comments that might steer me in the right direction. Because it looked like there was a whole lot to that mod once you got it going. But yeah, from what I understand, to get it going, you've got to find either the plants or loose stones that are affected by the rift, and then gather up the dust or fragments, and, uh, yeah. Then you have to get your tolerance thing there down to zero. Which you can do by standing close to a rift. In other words, you've got to be able to brush the rust. And when you do, you right click with one of those dusts and or things in your hand. And, uh... Bazoom, you're a rust mage, level one. But that moment is not now. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button on your way out. It would help immensely. Till next time, though, do take care of each other, folks. And ciao. For now.